Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, friends. I'm A.P. Ticker here with this week's Piggy of the Week. Friends, when I read about natural disasters, the first thing I think of is, when does the looting begin? And how can I get in on it? <laughs> Maybe Mount Holly will erupt and I can rampage through the Hickory Farms at the Cherry Hill Mall. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. Maybe. What I really think is, holy crap, there but for the grace of God go I, A.P. Ticker, as I pour myself another paper cup full of finely aged nitrine mixed with cherry-flavored Robitussin. But then, I am a living, breathing human being with some semblance of a soul, however charred around the edges it may be. And I am truly sorry for those truly bad things that I've done, with relatively few exceptions. However, for Eric Cantor, a man who makes coprophages seem the finest in dinner companions. Look that one up. Sorrow is an alien emotion. And it makes me sad that I have to talk about him two weeks in a row. To Eric Cantor, homeless families, destroyed businesses, ruined farms, and flooded communities mean only one thing. A chance to score some cheap political points. After the quake-caused nuclear disaster, Cantor argued for cuts to the U.S. Geological Survey, which monitors the same kind of earthquake risks. Last week, his district was rocked by a 5.9 earthquake, a few miles from two nuke plants. You'd think a Cantor would have grown a brain, but no. Now, his line is that any relief from Hurricane Irene should be offset by spending cuts, just like the ones he already got out of Obama during the debt ceiling debacle. You believe that any federal money that comes out for Hurricane Irene needs to be met dollar for dollar with spending cuts? Is that right? Well, again, we, the House has already acted and has already funded over a billion dollars for additional disaster relief money. That money has been offset uh, by savings elsewhere. This from a guy whose state gets about a buck fifty back from the feds for every dollar it spends in taxes. Well, frankly, I agree with Eric, the welfare queen's balanced approach, but only if his state of Virginia bears the brunt of the cuts. And by brunt, I mean all, <laughs> as in 100 percent. After all, why should Pennsylvanians' federal taxes or anyone else's have to pay for cleanup in Cantor's district, when the noble pioneering people he represents can bail themselves up and out with their own buckets. We've got troubles in PA, and so does every other state. Virginia should solve its own problems. Let Virginia cut their own school funding, domestic violence programs, job training boondoggles, and so-called arts bullshit, and give the excess federal money to the rest of us. And I'm sure they'll appreciate basking in the porcine glory that is Eric Cantor, our Piggy of the Week. I'm A.P. Ticker, and I bet you can squeal like a pig, Eric Cantor. I bet you can squeal like a pig. <laughs> Well, bye.